Hello everyone, Mike127 here. Welcome back to Let's Play Breath of the Wild. I need to get you out of the way, because I'm going to chop this tree down and I don't want to hurt you. Go. Go somewhere. I really need to board, board him up. Oh, don't run too far. That's fine. I really need to board him up, because he's just going to get himself killed. I'm curious now what Doug's stats are. Like, like what our bond is and stuff like that. It'd be kind of nice if you can, um, affect horses' stats. I don't know if you can do that. I just thought about that randomly. Yeah, maybe it won't be so bad cutting down all these trees and collecting this wood after all. Okay, I will fight this guy with this axe. Don't one hit one kill. That's nice. There's a black, or a blue bacoblin over here. I'll go ahead and use a farming hoe on him. The farming hoe is already that bad. I mean, well, 16 base power isn't great, but for something that's not meant to be a weapon, it it's pretty good, I think. Takes these guys down in a few shots. But it's about to go out. Can I chop down trees with this? That'd be kind of cool. No, it doesn't really do much. It did nothing. Alright, we'll just stick with what we know. Well, that just takes one shot, and we got a cricket out of that. I don't know if chopping on the tree made the cricket appear, or if it was just a coincidence. Okay, let me see where I'm at on wood. I'm at 24. And yeah, this really isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I thought this was going to be super boring. I mean, the bacobins are keeping me entertained while I'm doing this. So, that's nice. There's some rice. That's cool. Oh, squirrels. Let me show you what happens when you shoot a squirrel. Uh, maybe not. Well, if you kill a squirrel, you'll get acorns. You don't actually get meat from the from them. You get acorns. So, fun fact there. Okay, this is starting to get boring because there's nothing attacking me right now. Should I just speed this up? Let's just speed this up. What the hell? Fuck. Do you, you don't have to curse all the time. What the hell? What the heck? I think I was trying to say what the heck, but my... Sailor and me wanted to swear, so I said, What the feck? Whatever. Actually, you know what? I'm done anyway. I don't know. I'm not going to speed anything up. Okay, so we're done chopping down trees. Let's stop that. Now, what we need to do is um, make some money. And that's going to be a little bit trickier. It'd be nice to get in on it, some kind of side quest. I'm going to have to um, dig a little bit deeper for that. Maybe I can look for some treasure. Speaking of digging deep and treasure, wouldn't it be, it would be nice to actually have a shovel in this game and be able to dig for treasure? I thought so. I mean, maybe in the next one that would be something that they'll do. Like, if, like you see little mounds here and there and you'll dig and you, you know. It'd be a nice surprise of what's going on. Sounds like a stone talus. Actually, that will get me just... That's just what I need. That's perfect. That, that'll get me the rupees that I need because he's going to drop off some gems when I'm done with them. I'm going to eat because I'm at half health. He's going to take me out in one hit if I... You know... If I get hit by anything by him. So, what else do I want to do? Well, I was going to say I was going to use bomb arrows, but unfortunately it's raining, so the bomb arrows aren't going to work on him. That was stupid. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? That didn't... <sighs> stupid. Just fly right at him as he's falling down. He's had kind of a tough spot to hit that thing on. Wait till he lands, and then go for it. I don't really need this axe anymore. I think it's done its job, so I'll just keep whacking him with this. It's working out pretty nice. I'm surprised I was able to stay on him for that long. Make sure I get anything that flies off when I'm hitting that crystal on him. Okay, that was nice placement. Alright, there we go. Pretty easy. Didn't really 
take any damage other well I did take damage from being an idiot and rushing right in there. Get some rubies. First time I've ever gotten a ruby, huh? Well, because of the dire need for rupees at this time, I'm definitely going to be selling those. Um, those will show up pretty commonly in the next major area we go into when we get to Death Mountain. Uh, that is where our next Divine Beast is. I don't know if I've actually said anything about that yet. Um, how far am I from the town? Let's just... Do you want to warp or do you want to actually walk it? Let's warp. Alright, so we're back here in this... Uh, I guess it's a general store. I'm gonna go ahead and sell all the gems I just got from that, um, whatever it was, uh, a stone talus. My mind is blanking right now. So this would get us 210 oh. rupees, which isn't as good as I thought. I thought amber sold for more than 30. Maybe I'm just crazy. And this will get oh. the job done. Actually, no, this will... Yeah, this will just be enough to get me enough rupees to buy the house, but Whoa. I'm not going to have anything left over once I buy it. I have 24 rupees left over once I buy it. Uh, is there anything... I just want to have something left over. This is pretty... pretty good. 330. I can afford to... I mean, because... It's like, look at this. This gives me pretty much the same benefit. You know, it gives me three minutes of um, improved attack. I mean, yeah, this heals 15 hearts. Well, 18 hearts. This one only heals seven, but it's just like I'm early in the game. I'll, I can, I can make something like this again. It's not a big deal. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell this as well. And I just wanna have something oh. left over. So I'll sell some. Good paying meals. This is another good paying meal that I just don't really need at the moment. So we'll sell that. Whoa. That'll give us a good 600 rupees. If I can get up to 1,000 rupees, or, you know, 4,000 rupees, I can have um, 1,000 left over. That'd be nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. I would like to keep the rest of this. So that's good enough. Um, so, I'm gonna go back over to the house now. Looks like everyone's just taking a break right now. I guess because it's evening. Um, they're just chilling, so we'll talk to the boss. And we will pay your price. So, here we go. We'll take, uh, for one thing, the 30 bundles of wood out. And the 3,000 rupees. Wait, is that it? Did I make the... No? Wait, wait. So I guess I have to talk to him again? Okay, yeah, you get to talk to him a second time. First time for the wood, and then second time for the rupees. So we're going to shell it out. I don't know if this is the most expensive thing in the game. I guess it is. I mean, for God's sake, we're buying a house, so... Um, here we go. We have our own house now. We are a homeowner. Hiding homeowner owner is updated, not complete, though. That's actually, hmm, what, what, what now, then? Oh, okay, so yeah, the, so yeah, it is our house now, but now we have to actually, um, <laughs> put stuff in it. So, that costs money as well, like furniture, a bed, so really this house isn't much use to us right now. Uh, one thing we did get for free in here is a weapon holder here. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and make use of this. This can actually be pretty useful, because um, this will... Um, okay, so what this does is this will actually um, put your weapons on display. But it's not just for display and looking cool, because a good use for that is to save weapons that you don't want to break. So that's my strongest weapon that I have right now, is that axe. So I would like to save that, and really I would like to save this guardian sword as well. I mean, I don't know, I mean, 40, it, eh, it'd be nice to have independence. Really, I don't have any other really good weapons now, so 
Um, but yeah, like if you want really want to save a weapon or a bow or a shield, because you, you can also mount those as well. That's a good idea is to mount them to kind of save them for a rainy day. So that's what I like to do uh, is uh, is mount as many weapons as I can and save them for you know like a divine beast or. Well, no, that wouldn't be a good thing to save them for, but, you know, if you just come across, like, a tough situation where there's uh, just tons of enemies and uh, you really want to take it down, like, you know, I've ran into tons of black moblins when I was in Hebra, so if I wanted to take another shot at them, I'd come back here and get the weapons that I've saved up and uh, go back and try to beat them, so... So yeah, um, adding furniture and adding mounts and stuff is going to take money, as you would imagine. So I'm not going to really mess with much with that as of now. I really need to build up my money. Um, I'll take a sledgehammer. Hammer, why not? Uh, oh, they leave? I wanted to talk to Hudson, the guy with the kind of the beetle haircut. So I don't know where they went. Because Hudson's part of a whole different side quest um, that I mentioned earlier. I think at the end of the last episode, he's part of a side quest that we actually build a whole town with him. But he's gone, so I don't know what to do now. So I guess we're just going to uh, check out this. I don't know. I kind of want to see what's down here, if anything. Nothing? A Korog, of course, right? Yay! Got one. So what to do now, I guess? Um, I don't know. You know, I've gotten to uh, Tino Village now. I've, I've visited both of the villages and um, did some stuff in here that I, you know, that I really needed to get done. Made some purchases, bought a house. I mean, that's pretty good. So now I can come up with a new goal. Um, I can kind of explore the surrounding area. That's something that I wanted to do anyway as I was collecting the wood. Can I get up there so I can gain my stamina? Thank you. So I guess that's something I can do is just kind of explore the surrounding area. Um, really cover more Hatino more. Because I just feel like there's got to be more in the way of shrines and stuff like that. Now that I'm more equipped and just stronger, it's good to re-explore some of these early game areas. At least for this playthrough, this is early game. And really for any normal playthrough, I guess the eastern side of the map is early game. It just seems like the game points you in this direction. In fact, I know it does, because right when you get off the Great Plateau, they tell you, to go to Kakariko Village, so... I'm not gonna bother these guys, they're sleeping. Oh, I just woke them up. Well, if you come attack me, I'll fight you. Otherwise, I'm just gonna stay away. They're gonna attack me. Well, let's deal with it. I would like to get your spiked club. So I can have better weapons on hand. So, that's fine. Let's dance. Like to, okay, I would like to do this. Spin my thing around. Come on, you can do it. Or just, you know, get beaten up by these weak things. Ow. Alright. No. Jump attacks with these heavy weapons are pretty fun to use, actually. They're fast. I mean, they're as fast as a normal jump attack, so you might as well do it with a heavy weapon. I thought I had a headshot. You're... I want oh, my headshots here. Come on. You're just wasting arrows. Come on, dude. And wasting weapons. I'm gonna fight him with a goblin arm, apparently. That's not smart at all. No, 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 don't attack your- oh, no, not this. Now we are recreating 
what happened in that lost recording with my horse getting beat up by myself and monsters around him. I'm gonna go ahead and hop on my horse and get out of here. We're just gonna take a ride and see what we can find. So right now I'm just pretty much gonna be aimlessly exploring the surroundings of um, Hatino Village. I mean, what do I have that's new that I can use? See, that's the thing about this game compared to other Zelda games is that doesn't really happen that much where you, you know, where you add new items to your collection that allow you to do new things. I mean, I did get Rivali's Gale, but I'm not really using it. It just allows me to get up places faster that I would otherwise have to climb. This looks interesting, so I'm going to check this crater out. Yeah, really, for the rest of this episode, it's just going to be mindless exploring, and then I'm going to kind of sleep on it and decide what I really want to do, like, what actual goal I want to come up with. Some mining down here. This, this has to be something good down here. If This is, like, down in a really deep cr crater. Some of these rock guys. You would think you'd find Stone Talus down here. This is exactly where you would expect to find it. Stone Talus is one of these big craters. But it's just a mining opportunity, so that's good, I guess. It'll help me um, do what I want to do now, which is really rebuild my rupee collection. Oh, I'd have to climb out of this stupid place. Just keep picking up rocks, I don't know. That's boring. Okay, let's get out of here. Luckily, I can just kind of run up this. Get up. Let's see where I'm at on the map. That's probably a good idea. It's just to look at the map. This lake would be a good thing to explore. I remember... I just remember this lake being significant from my last playthrough. I don't remember why, though. So, maybe we can figure out why. So, I'm going to go towards the lake. Unfortunately, I can't go up waterfalls right now. I don't have the means of doing that. Eventually, I will. Cut some more materials. Kill a deer, maybe? Come on, you can get it. There you go. Alright, so am I going to get a um, raft out here or not? Looks like there might be a treasure over there. What is that? Oh, okay. So, sometimes uh, you'll see treasure actually floating. Um, most of the treasure that we've been getting from the water has been metal treasure chests underneath that we got out with Nynesis. Well, there's another way you can get treasure out. You'll see these wooden chests floating on the water, so the way you get those out is with Chronosis. I think that's the first time you've ever seen that. It's pretty common. I mean, it's just about as common as using magnesis on the metal ones to get those out. So, just kind of a new thing. There's some fish here that I can blow up if I wanted to, so I'm going to do that. And throw the bomb the wrong way. Is that good enough? No. That scared the fish away. Maybe I can get him with that. Yeah, that was good enough. Staminoka. I should probably climb back on that. I'm going to run out of stamina if I try to swim in anywhere. Okay. Let's get an idea of where I want to go now. Again, can't go up the waterfall, so... Got to find a way to climb up there. Can I do that? I think I'd rather go over to that mass over there, that land mass. So we'll do that. I'm gonna speed this up. This isn't very exciting. Okay, hit the shore here. Got ourselves a nice sneaky river snail. Snails you tend to find like on shores, in case you were wondering. Um, I'll just climb up where the grass is. 
that's a good thing to look for if you don't want to have to, like, actually climb. It's just look for grassy areas. Then you can just run up it. That's what I prefer to do. Take out this bird. Yeah, really nothing exciting <laughs> to do here, so it's just kind of be mindless exploring, so it's part of the game, so we're gonna do it. Get you! No. Okay. Oh, no, I think I'm gonna have to climb. I'll put my uh, bandana on. Uh, okay. And if I need to, I'll speed this up as well, which I am going to have to do. <laughs> Screw it, Mr. Shoes Revised Gale. <laughs> I don't care anymore. I'm just going to be using that. Um, I'm going to try not to use that to like gain an advantage in like combat or anything. Because that can give me a huge advantage, like getting to high ground. I mean, as we've learned from Obi-Wan, having the high ground is everything. <laughs> so bored. Why am I so bored? I'm sorry. The second half of this episode has been a little bit boring. Uh, there's not a lot going on because I don't have a plan, you know. My plan for the past ten episodes has been to get to Kakariko and Hatino Village, and, and now that I've done that, I don't really have a plan now, so I'm just kind of going to have to wing it and explore, which is fine. I don't mind that. Definitely collecting some things that we need, some materials, some so eventually I'll be able to rebuild my meal stash. I wonder what this is up here. I'm just kinda getting an idea what this area is. It's somewhat cold, but not so cold that I need more than just a warm doublet. Oh, eventually I should need more than that. No, he's still not shivering more. Hey, he doesn't mind it. Warm doula is enough. Kind of surprising. Is this straight snow up here? That tree might be worth looking at. Any kind of tree that's really high up on a mountain, it's worth getting up there for. Yeah, he really doesn't mind. The warm doula is enough. That's just surprising. I'll take it, though. I'm definitely gonna go sledding off of here. That'd be fun. Or very dangerous. Probably not fun. But I'm gonna see what happens. I haven't done any shield surfing in a long time. Please don't tell me there's nothing up here. It didn't look like there's anything up here. I'm gonna chop the tree down, then. We still got this axe. I remember saying that I was going to save it for mining. I don't want a tree branch. Get rid of that. I really, I really, just, I really have five weapon slots. That's pretty surreal. <laughs> okay. So do I want to shield surf or do I want to jump and uh, glide? Let's do it. Oh, that's yeah. That's too steep. That is too steep. That is a bad idea. That wasn't quite what I, was, what I was expecting, but we'll take it. What's this? We have almost like a big crystallized thing of ice here. Question is, can I melt it? I don't think I can. The ice that you can melt, you can see through, and yeah. Well, you gotta find out, so let's see. I should have some fire arrows. No, I don't do anything. That's what I thought. I think it was just it's just for looks. We can shield surf here. Um can't remember the button combination. Oh, that's gonna break it. Yep. <laughs> As you would imagine, shield surfing breaks your shield. You know, it definitely doesn't wear and tear on it, so we'll get a new shield out. I am not gonna use my little shield for that. I'll just go ahead and use this. My weakest one. Nothing of in 
interest here. I'm just because you know I haven't been here in this snowy mountain. I, in fact, I forgot about this. You know that there's a snowy section on the eastern side of the map by Hatino Village. I knew there was you know a couple snowy mountains, but I didn't realize it was this big. So I'm hopeful I can find a shrine down here. Just keeping an eye out for really anything. I can chop this and get some wood. Not that I really need it anymore. Well, I do. I mean, I'm always going to need wood to build fires. And actually, wood is going to play a big part in that Terrytown side quest. So, it's probably not a bad idea to keep plucking wood as I go. Yeah, we'll get over this hill. Where am I on time? I still probably got another five to ten minutes left. Okay, that takes us back to n normal terrain, where we don't have to worry about the snow. But I want to stay in here. I want to stay in the unfamiliar, because the less familiar, the better I think I have a chance of finding a shrine. As odd as that might sound, that's just, you know, when you think about it, that makes sense because I haven't explored this area. So therefore, there's got to be a shrine here somewhere, right? The question is, do you use your shrine sensor now? I don't know. I mean, I'm not in desperate need of a shrine. But I'd like to find one. Alright, let's use our instincts. Um, keep climbing to get as high as we can. I mean, that's, that's always one way to find them, is to get as high as you can and look. But, um, I'm just thinking about where hidden shrines could be. Looking out for bombable walls. Caves of any sort. Just any clue. That would be great. So we'll get up this way. And see what I can see when I get to the top of this hill. Come on, Link, you can do it. Here, I'll look out this way. And there's a shrine I've been to. That doesn't help. Here, Lazalfos. I'm gonna fight you with a Boko Club. Actually, I can just fight him with. Here, hold on. Let's switch over to this thing. Come here. You're just dying one hit to that. I'll just keep this thing on me for a little while. Not seeing anything. I can get up a lot higher. I don't want to deal with these wolves. Never actually been attacked by the wolves. Again, you get the the enemy music when they're around, but I've now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever been attacked by the wolves. They just kind of like prey around you and you know act like they're tough, but they don't actually do anything. It's really weird. One of these days they're gonna prove me wrong and beat the shit out of me. Oh, this might be important up here. Like, really important. So I want to get to the top of this. Oh yeah, this is really important. I mean, not necessarily where I'm at right now, but I'm getting close to a dragon, I think. If you look up there, you might be able to see him. Yeah, see something kind of moving over there? Should be one of the dragons just kind of chilling. Okay, I can. I should be able to melt this. Oop. Uh, what do I want to do about this? Let's light a fire. How about that? I got some wood, so we'll light a fire. Get 
some wood. Here we go. I got three bundles. So I'll drop this down and actually pick that back up. That's a little bit too far. Right about here. And then I can light it with this. That should help. That should speed up the melting process. Okay, how about this? Do I have a shitty wooden weapon? No. Well, I have this. Quark leaves are pretty common, so I don't mind getting rid of this. I'll just burn away. It's better have something underneath here. I spent so much time trying to melt this thing. Come on. Nothing. There's nothing in there. That's so frustrating. A Korok, maybe? Is that a thing? That is a thing. Okay, so yeah, when you melt... I guess when you melt ice, you can re reveal Koroks? I don't know, I think sometimes you, you will get nothing from melting a whole thing of ice like that, so... I guess I got a little bit lucky there, you can say. Alright, um... I'm gonna cheat. <laughs> It. At least for Valley Scale, get a little bit of a head start on climbing this thing. The good thing about this particular mountain is it's pretty easy to climb as far as like finding places to rest because there's all these little crystals. Oh, we can hear the music now. Yeah, like this ice block here, I could try to melt it, but I'm not gonna mess with it. I have more important things to do right now. Dude, this is fun. I didn't really expect this to be what I was going to be doing next. So yeah, you, you hear a more ominous version of the of the uh, dragon song that plays when they're nearby. And I did this really late in my first playthrough, so this is pretty early to be doing it like right now. What's that over there? It looks like those are gems or ore to knock out. Yeah, it should be some ore. I'll go ahead and get this. It doesn't look like it's any special ore, but in fact, if I break it, whatever comes out is probably going to fall down. Oh, it's a luminous ore. Okay, that makes sense on a mountain like this. You're not going to just find any old crappy rocks up here. You're going to find some good shit. This is, this is getting tense. What are we gonna find? Oh, actually, this is gonna be quite the experience. Probably gonna have to save the meat and potatoes of this till next time. Oh boy. There he is. Oh, he's possessed. That's right. Um. How am I gonna activate this? I just wanna get this uh, show on the road. Well, here we go. We can just go ahead and. Wait, what? Why did that not work? He has eyeballs right there. Shouldn't that. It's doing something to it, but it's. Try going a little bit lower. Okay, so this is the spring of win wisdom. There are three springs in this game where you actually need to bring um, dragon parts to. Here we get a cutscene here, apparently. I don't think he's actually going to speak. We're just going to get some text, I guess, from the goddess statue. I don't know, but this is what's going to instigate this whole thing. You've done well to find your way to the spring. Yeah, there are three of these, one for each dragon. So you have to, um, one thing you need to do is bring uh, dragon parts to each of the three springs from their respective dragons. So this one we need to bring a uh, a part for this dragon, which is um, I guess kind of named after Nehru. Oh, it's Nadra. So it kind of goes with um, 
the old um, thing with the, you know, power, wisdom, and courage, you know. We have Din Hall, and you take Din Hall's pieces to the spring of power, and then you have, like, Pharon, I don't know what, Pharosh, I think is the name of the uh, Dragon of Courage, and this is the Dragon of Wisdom. So, we're gonna deal with him next time on the Breath of the Wild, so... Thank you guys for watching and bearing with me, as always. This next episode should be quite fun. So, yeah, I'll see you next time for a dragon hunt. See you later, guys.